how do we get a cool custom background like this that we created or, or whatever added into Pivot? It's really easy, and here's how you do it. Um, you're going to go to File, Load Background Image, Load Background Image, and that's it. File, Load Background Image, and then you find your image, probably in your downloads if you've downloaded something. I'm just going to pick, uh, what is this one? Oh, no. Shrek Layers Horrible Art. There we go. So let's say I loaded this background. So you can change backgrounds also. You can use any background you've already loaded. Um, now, there are some issues that you might have. One of the issues is the size. So to change the size of your background, like if you know the size you created, you can go to Edit Options, and then you can change the size. So if you know you made a, a 1280 by 720, which is what I made, but let's say let's say you had it wrong. Let's say it looks like this, and there's a there's a checkerboard that's cutting off your animation. So that if you start playing your animation, it's cut off. So to fix that, you go to Edit Options, and you can change that number if you know your number. My suggestion is before you start your animation, like right when you open it, load your background, set the size, then animate. And that's my uh, that's my that's my pro tip for the day. And I'm doing this in standard definition for YouTube. It's not too taxing for my computer, but it will also look nice on a computer. If you have a stronger computer, a higher end graphics card, higher end memory, you could make it 1920 by 1080, or you could make it uh, what's the size for? Um, uh, you could make it 2160, so 3480 by 2160 if you want to do 4K animation and make it really big. Um, but you have to have a computer that can handle that. Um, this is a inexpensive HP Dell kind of thing. So anyway, there's how you add the backgrounds and that's how you change it. Um, I hope that is helpful.